E3. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game, and tonight we are talking about everything that was revealed at E3 2018. Uh, let's just get started. Here you are seeing the uh, presentation that was given to us. Uh, it's about 45 minutes in length, but uh, while that's going, we'll just keep talking about what's going on. <laughs> I think uh, everyone's excited for uh, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers finally got a name, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, we got a release date for the Octo expansion. Uh, we got a, cu a couple other new games, like this one right here, Damon X Mach Machina. Uh, coming out 2019. Let's talk about that real quick. It's a brand new Nintendo Switch title uh, with the strategy of a mech game at the speed of an action game. Pretty cool. Um, I had to get this all from the Nintendo site. A fast-paced mech action game from Kenichiro Tsukata uh, is coming to Nintendo Switch system. Take your arsenal, a fully customizable power suit, out, of, out for an array of missions to, some, to surmount the enemy at, at all costs. Interesting word, surmount. Uh, choose and equip your arsenal with a multitude of weapons, obtain more from down from down enemy arsenals, and swap them on the fly to suit your strategy in the face of never-changing threats. This game's set to release 2019. They didn't give us much, uh, much information about that except this cool trailer with some ear-piercing music. <laughs> so, there's that, um... I, it looks like a good game. I mean, it was kind of a weird way to open the whole thing, but there weren't many. There weren't too many games they could surprise us with with all the with all the leaks and stuff. Uh, I mean, it looks cool. But um, I, I originally when I first saw, I thought I thought it was uh, Gundam. It reminds me of uh, Gundam Wing. Um, anything really from the Gundam series? Yep. But there's the title, Damon X Machina. Uh, it looks good. I mean, I mean, I might try it. See what happens. Kind of a weird thing that they gave us this uh, about a year in advance, though. <laughs> uh, next up, we had a Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I guess, supplementary game or something. I don't know. It's uh, it's weird how they're doing this one. They're calling it Torna, the Golden Country. Uh, it can be available as DLC in the expansion pass or as a standalone uh, retail version. It's basically... Uh, about guiding a group of legendary warriors on a journey through a tragic history that doomed a kingdom and drove a hero down a dark path 500 years before the events of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, defend yourself from Malos and his forces using the fury uh, of this refined battle system, allowing you to fight as both the artificial life forms known as Blades and their master's drivers. It's basically an add-on for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, interesting though, you can buy it as an expansion pass for uh, twenty nine ninety nine, and that's available on September fourteenth. Or you can buy it as a standalone retail version if you don't want to play Xenoblade Chronicles two. Why you would want to buy this and not Xenoblade Chronicles two? I don't know, but that is that uh, retail version will be available one week uh, afterwards on November twenty or September twenty first. Sorry. Um, it looks good though. I mean, I really wish uh, Xenoblade Chronicles two was as popular. Um. <laughs> Uh, it just it, it didn't get a lot of, a lot of popularity though it just didn't uh, I mean I might continue playing it what with this going on uh, we'll see what happens when it uh, gets closer to September but right now I think my schedule is gonna be pretty full with the games that did come out <laughs> today uh, Paladins came out Fortnite came out I've been playing Fortnite all day <laughs> great game love it to death um, I had never played Fortnite before it was it was a, it was my first time playing I wanted to I wanted to wait and see if it uh, well, I didn't want to play on my computer. That's one thing. Um, I didn't want. To, I wanted to see. Uh, I heard rumors it was coming to the Switch. That with Undertale, we didn't get. We didn't hear anything about Undertale. We heard nothing about Undertale. We heard it last year at E3 that was coming eventually sometime this year. We heard nothing about it this year. That was weird. Um, up up next we have uh, Reggie. He's getting. Uh, the, he, this is the part where he talks about uh, Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. Um, Basically talking about the success of the Switch. Every year they gotta talk about it. <laughs> Heck, if I was selling an amazing system like this, like a Nintendo Switch, I'd be talking about it too. Uh, Nub believes that Fortnite is going to take over the Switch. It already has. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's old news. <laughs> I was just I'm actually I got some videos coming out tomorrow for that. That's coming out at 
check my schedule. Noon. Yeah, noon. I'm gonna do that. Um, I was originally gonna do Paladins, uh, but I think Fortnite's way more popular right now. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to do some Fortnite videos, I'm going to do some Paladin videos, tonight I'm going to be doing a live stream, I'm going to let you guys decide on which game I do, either Paladins or Fortnite, but uh, here's the part right now where they're talking about Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, they're just kind of restating what we already knew, uh, and they start talking about Pokeball uh, Plus, or, yeah we heard nothing about the, the Yoshi game, that was weird, thank you uh, for stating that Nathan. Uh, one cool thing about the uh, Pokeball Plus, you get Mew as a default. Yeah, if you buy the Pokeball Plus, you get a Mew. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so apparently you will have all 151 Pokemon in this game. <laughs> I originally said 150, my bad. <laughs> uh, you can actually get them bundled together. This was cool. Uh you can get uh, the Pokeball Plus and the uh, Let's Go game bundled together. Uh, I think like they're doing a special edition of that. So, uh, Nub wants to know, will I do solos in Fortnite? Yes, I've been doing nothing but solos. <laughs> I like doing solos. In fact, I might. I'm, that's if I, if we do the Fortnite live stream tonight. That's probably what I'll be doing is uh, solos, unless we get a lot of people, unless we get like a squad of people. I'm not good at the game yet. <laughs> I am. I've gotten like one kill every game, and that's doing it solo. So that's that. Uh, here they're talking about Mario Party or Super Mario Party. Sorry, Super Mario Party set to debut October fifth, two thousand eighteen. This game is. I don't know how they pulled this one off. Look at what they're doing right there. They just connected the switches like that. <laughs> And now it creates a tank game. I mean, it's crazy what they, they imagine with this system. I never I never uh, thought it possible. Um, to, um, let's see, Nathan Sanchez made the point that the Octo, the Octo expansion comes out on June 14th. It actually comes out tomorrow evening. Now, here's the weird thing about that. Uh, this we're, Yeah, we're talking about the Octo expansion now for Splatoon 2. It says it's coming out on, well, they said, they didn't say in this presentation, but they said after the Splatoon 2 tournament that the Octo expansion will be coming out tomorrow. Which is, I mean, well, it said tomorrow evening for US. I mean, time zones are different, so I don't know exactly when it will be available. My guess it would be available sometime between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Because uh, they said evening, evening technically begins at s anywhere from 6 until midnight, so <laughs> that's kind of a huge time frame. But I will be live streaming that tomorrow as soon as it's, as soon as I can. So we'll have a, I'm going to do a complete playthrough uh, live stream of the Octo expansion. I don't care how long it takes, I'm going to finish it from beginning to end in one live stream. I can do it all in one night, just like Santa Claus. <laughs> Have I gotten, uh, Edward Norton wants to know if I have gotten Paladins yet. Yes, I have. I have Paladins. I'm going to be letting you guys, uh, vote on whether or not I, uh, do, do a live stream of, uh, Paladins tonight or a Pal or, uh, Fortnite. Because I could really go for either one right now. <laughs> um, I was playing Paladins earlier. That was a fun game. That's a great game. Oh my god. I love it. Problem is, uh, not a lot of people, a lot of people are still new to it, so they gotta get the hang of it. I was trying to do some training games, and it didn't go well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks great. And here's another game that looks a uh, good game, Fire Emblem. It's, uh, what's the name of Fire Emblem? Three Hours or something? Coming out spring 2019. Interesting how they keep try. I mean, I mean, I'm, they're going to keep making Fire Emblem games. I might buy this one. <laughs> oh god, he's wearing the jacket like a cape. I hate that. <laughs> that's got to be uncomfortable. But, uh, yeah, it's another Fire Emblem game. Uh, this one, it looks, I mean, it looks, it looks like it plays just like the other ones, but it looks better for the Switch. I mean, yeah, it's, it's another, <laughs> uh, everyone's, everyone's more excited for the Octo expansion. Uh, that's, yeah, I mean, we play Splatoon a lot, Splatoon 2 a lot on this channel, 
the, oh, the tournament's tonight. Oh, wow. Man, that was, that was awesome watching that. We had the Splatoon 2 tournament. We had the Smash Brothers tournament. Those were awesome. We had the beginning rounds last night. I liked watching that. And then here we have the reveal for Fortnite for uh, Viva Pinata. <laughs> no, it's uh, Fortnite. So yeah, Fortnite is on the Switch. And here's the thing, though. I just thought it, this was an announcement for. I mean, we already knew this was happening. What we didn't know was that it was available now. <laughs> it was available at 10 a.m. It was available one hour after the presentation. Which I thought just blew me away. That was, I'm thinking, the third biggest surprise from a Nintendo's presentation. The first two being, uh, well, I'll get to that. I'll get to the first one later. The second one being uh, the Octo expansion coming out tomorrow. That one blew my mind. Yep, today. <laughs> you can play for free. You can download that right now for free. Play for free. I uh, I bought. I uh, paid some money for the season pass because it looks too good. <laughs> So I got that. I've been playing that all day. And when I do my Let's Play videos, I'm probably going to edit those down for time. Just because I do camp a lot in that in when I play solo. And I usually get in the top 10, so that's not that's pretty good. But I ain't camping. It's boring, but it... <laughs> it's kind of a psychological mind trap when you're trying to... When you're when you're sitting there waiting for someone waiting for like the field to get smaller and you're waiting for people to come out and try to kill you you gotta be killing them before they kill you and then the whole building a whole little fort thing in the last minute so you, you can take out anyone coming towards you that's cool Let's see ya uh... and we got uh yeah we got new Smash Brothers characters we're getting to the Smash Brothers real soon the <laughs> in the in the live stream or the, the presentation here we have overcooked 2 i'm not even sure about this game <laughs> some games i'm just eh, a little leery about i mean someone i'm sure someone will play them i'm i'm a cook by trade and even this game doesn't appeal to me <laughs> yeah i mean it looks cool it looks fun i never i didn't play the first one though so i might i might have to try and pick up the first one before i play it that's coming out August uh, 7th, 2018. Uh, we also had information about Killer Queen Black, which you see here. Uh, that's coming out 2018. Uh, we had information about Hollow Knight. All the DLC will be in the game, and it is available today, so you can download that if you want to play Hollow Knight. Uh, we had information about Octopath Traveler, release date June, uh, July 13th. But a new demo will be available on the 14th, on June 14th. If you want to play that, I'm gonna be, I'm I'm gonna try and pick that up. I might do a quick video about that. Uh, Rabbit wants to know what she missed. Uh, we talked just we're just kind of going through the whole live stream right now, uh, from beginning to end. Right now uh, we're just talking about Hollow Knight. <laughs> we're going. We just had a big long Hollow Knight discussion. Oh my god, we went we went so far into the game. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hollow Knight looks good. I'm not big on platformers, but and it's got to have more to it than just from scrolling from left to right. That's available today, so if you want to play that, Hollow Knight, go for it. Let me know how it is. Uh, we got Reggie talking about more stuff. We got the Treehouse Live. That's the next two days of that. That's going to be great. Oh, man, they were playing, they were playing so much Smash Brothers. They were playing uh what else what else were they playing uh yeah mainly smash brothers uh they did let's go pokemon that was kind of cool they showed off uh them catching some pokemon walking through viridian forest uh yeah really i was just kind of tuned out because i was playing fortnite at the same time i was <laughs> i was trying to wa play fortnite and watch this at the same time uh yeah octopath traveler this game i'm definitely gonna play when it comes out it looks really good uh, they've been de developing this game. They just, uh, yeah, they've been de developing this game for so long. I like that they keep, uh, put, they, uh, put out one demo for it already, and then they put out another demo, and now they're putting out a third demo for it. They're constantly going back and improving the game 
to the point where they're gonna it's gonna be perfect when it comes out. Uh, here we have a quick uh, quick collaboration of videos. Uh, some I, I didn't even write down some of the names. Some of the names that I'm uh, we got Minecraft. We have Dragon Ball Fighter Z. That one I really want on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this one talked about Sushi Strikers. I've been playing that all the time. Uh, I was playing that yesterday. I was trying to. I was I was anticipating so much. I had to play Sushi Strikers. It's a good game. Uh, Dance Dance. <laughs> Dragon Ball Fighter Z. This is one of my top. Pick. This is one of my uh, top picks. That's coming out uh, 2018. They said Octo. <laughs> this is all they showed in the presentation for uh, split, for the uh, Octo expansion. Stuff we already saw. Uh, we got Captain Co Toad Treasure Tracker. Whatever. <laughs> How, I, we got Crash Bandicoot coming out. That's going to be cool. This one was new. I, I didn't even get the name of this one. Uh, yeah, it looks interesting. Sorry I can't. I don't, sorry I don't have all the names. I was kind of writing stuff down as I was typing it as fast as I could when I was uh, going through it. Uh, another Monster Hunter game. We have this one. And then Paladins, uh, which you can see, if you want, you can see me stream that tonight. I'm still taking votes. Uh, looks like you guys are more interested in Fortnite than Paladins. Uh, we might do Paladin. so we might do uh, Fortnite tonight. A lot of good games coming out for the Switch, though. Uh, can't, I really can't wait for it. Oh, uh, The World Ends With Us, the Definitive Edition. Yeah, Fall 2018, that's going to be cool. Mega Man 11, definitely Mario Tennis Aces. You know, there's so many games right now. I don't think I'm. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Mario Tennis Aces. Not big on tennis. <laughs> Love Mario, not so much tennis. <laughs> All right, and then we came to the big announcement. This took up half the presentation. Smash Brothers Ultimate. We have a name for the Smash Brother, the Super Smash Brothers game for the Nintendo Switch. It will be called Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, what makes it Ultimate? <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Couple things: they're uh, bringing back a lot of stuff for this game. They are, first of all, I'm just gonna say it right now: every fighter. I think you already know. You already saw the presentation. Every fighter in Smash history will be in this game. And they've said like six. There's like 67 of them, 68 of them. Uh, they've. Uh, I'm just gonna read off the list real quick. Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Luigi, Ness, Captain Falcon, Jigglypuff, Peach, Bowser, Ice Climber, Sheik, Zelda, Doctor Mario, Pichu, Falco, Marth, Lucina, Young Link, Ganondorf, Mewtwo, Roy, Mr. Game and Watch, Meta Knight, Pit, Dark Pit, Zero Samus, Suit Samus. Wario, Snake, Ike, Squirtle, Ivysaur, Charizard, Pokemon Trainer is back. Lucas, Sonic, King Dedede, Olimar, Lucario, Rob, Toon Link, Wolf, Villager, Mega Man, Wii Fit Trainer, Rosalina and Luma, Little Mac, Greninja, Me Brawler, Me Sword Fighter, Me Gunner, Me yeah, pa Palutena, Pac Man, Robin, Shulk, Bowser Jr., Duck Hunt, Ryu, Cloud, Corn, Bayonetta, Inkling, and I'll leave the last one off. <laughs> That's at the end. So yeah, this, uh, basically they revealed the fighters. Yeah, every fighter is back. I can't wait. I thought for sure they would leave Pichu out, but, uh, I don't know. They're gonna have to do something with Pichu to make it more appealing. So yeah, this is cool. They start re revealing Mario, Samus, Kirby, the, the most obvious ones first. And, uh, Bowser, so he's back. And he's coming back as Giga Bowser, like the better Giga Bowser. Uh, Link has not, can now use remote bombs. That's going to be cool. So you can basically throw a bomb and then remotely detonate it. So you don't have to worry about time now. Uh, Fox has like an updated look. Looking closer to what he looked like in Star Fox Zero. Uh, Marth is back. And Zelda has a new look. This is, uh, I think this is, what was it? Link Between Worlds Zelda? So yeah, that's why she looks like that. But I think that's better than Breath of the Wild Zelda. I like Breath of the Wild Zelda more personally but i believe that this uh that the link between world zelda is more like the traditional zelda that we all know and love from smash brothers ice climbers <laughs> how long have we waited for this and then inkling of course which is already announced uh earlier this year 
Uh, Captain Falcon back. <laughs> He's back. Everyone loves Captain Falcon. Uh, you may have noticed something new with Wee Fit Trainer's face. She now has eyes, <laughs> so she's not as creepy now. Uh, Ness is back. Lucas is back. They're all back. Ryu's back. Ganondorf is back. Ganondorf is actually Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. I personally would have preferred Hyrule Warriors Ganondorf, but um, this one's the second best. <laughs> I mean, they can't have Calamity Ganon just waddling out into the stage. And then, yes, Snake. Metal Gear Solid Snake. Everyone is here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then they have, uh, they also announced, uh, Echo Fighters. You're gonna see, like, a little E-symbol next to some of these, uh, next to some of their names. Uh, like Marth and Lucina. Lucina is called an Echo Fighter, which is basically like Marth, but not. Same with, uh, Dark Pit. And, uh, another character they announced, Daisy. Apparently Daisy's in. Uh, she has a similar moveset to Princess Peach, but I guess everyone, I guess people wanted Daisy for some reason. One thing I want I pointed I noticed in the in the I think it was during this presentation that kind of bummed me out uh Waluigi is back as an assist trophy which means he's not going to be a fighter. Oh well. <laughs> we got the Mii fighters back, we got Wario, we got Little Mac, Pac-Man's back. Pac-Man's got a new final smash. We got Shulk back. He's got an uh, improved uh style switching system wolf's back that one was um that one was asked for so yeah this is super smash brothers ultimate and it looks too freaking good looks so freaking good everything about it looks good and then let's see hold on and here, this is gonna this is gonna be my new desktop background <laughs> oh look at that all those fighters Right there. And the, the art style looks awesome on it. King Diddy's face. <laughs> Everyone is here. Yep. So now they're going to go into detail about... Uh, they're going to go into detail about the little changes that they, uh, each fighter has made. Uh, one thing that they uh, made... One uh, little change they made of... There's like uh, simple skills like... Uh, let me see. Let me scroll down a little bit. They're going to get into this later, but... Let's see, they talked about... Let's see, uh... Apparently, yeah, there's little new little features to make things better. There are new techniques, uh, ladder attacks. You can attack people while on ladders. Uh, directional air dodging, that's cool. Uh, there are short hop attacks, that I think... Yeah, I mean, there it's it's more of a strategy thing. Um, you can use you can hit A B together to use a smash attack. That's cool. Perfect shield. If you can uh, if you can uh, release the shield button at the at the time that someone strikes, you'll perform a, pick, a perfect shield and uh, parry the attack. That's kind of cool. Here they're talking about Mario. Mario can now use uh, Cappy, but they weren't exactly clear how. I think it's just more of a cosmetic thing. Not sure. Uh, yeah, you have the Mario Maker outfit. I love that. Link is here. He's got the uh, Breath of the Wild, and he's got a Breath of the Wild stage, uh, the tower from the Great Plateau, the remote bombs, and a new Final Smash, the Ancient Arrows. That's cool. Uh, Villager, you can see uh, what he pockets now. Whenever and then Ice Climbers, they're back. Uh, very similar to how they were before. Uh, didn't see much difference. If you lose one, how if you lose the pink one and the purple one's gonna kind of hang out to dry. Uh, Ike's back. Uh, he's got, I think, what was it? Yeah, he has two. There's two versions. Uh, they actually have two different voice actors for him. I think that was a good, that was a nice, uh, nice touch. Here's one that the, the you guys will like. Pikachu, <laughs> female version. <laughs> is now represented in the game and Pikachu Libre which I thought was awesome uh, we got Fox uh, who now resembles Star Fox Zero uh, Fox not much difference he's got a new Final Smash the Final Smashes have been updated too they're all now one hit attacks basically you don't have to control them while they fly around the stage no there's no Landmaster you don't have to worry about that if you just hit the Final Smash button it sucks up pe people nearby then it performs the Final Smash 
You don't have to worry. Or just... I think, like, with Pikachu, uh, the Volt Tackle now, uh, he just, like, fires off to one side, and whatever he hits, that's what happens. That's that. It looks like an actual Volt Tackle. And then Ryu, cool new feature with him. He's always going to be facing an opponent just like he would in uh, Street Fighter. Um, Samus can now charge while in midair. That's a cool little touch. I like that. Uh, Marth uh, is now he can apparently Marth and Lucina can now are can now use Dancing Blade much easier and effortlessly than before. Now, I'm not really big on the Fire Emblem characters, but I mean they're in Smash Brothers. They're good. Snake's back, yay! And he brings uh, Shadow Moses Island with him. I saw him being used today in the uh, Smash tournament, so that was that was interesting. I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if the final smash got used though. I wanted to see that. But it will be cool to play Shadow Moses Island again. <laughs> uh, King DDD has a new final smash. Basically slams you into the side of a cage and just spins a whales on you. I have no idea what inspired that. <laughs> Pichu, why? <laughs> I, I I got there 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 has to be a positive reason for to, to use Pichu over Pikachu, but I'm not seeing, but I, I will find out. Pichu still damages himself when he attacks. Zelda. Brett is uh, Link Between the Worlds Zelda. That's cool. Uh, she's got a new Final Smash. This one. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I, I'm... Sonic, this one I thought was better. Uh, an actual supersonic attack that just has him um, zipping around the stage a lot faster. That, like, actual Sonic. Uh, Pac-Man, again, they're not, they're, they're trying to make the final smashes uh, much easier to use. Pokemon Trainer is back now, so it's not just Charizard now. You can switch in between them, but there is no penalty. So for switching out or leaving a certain Pokemon out, so I probably so I think most people what most people will do is they'll put out bring out Squirtle, do some damaging attacks, then bring out Charizard or, or Ivysaur and deliver a heavy smash attack. That'd be cool. Captain Falcon's back. Uh, what they say for Captain Falcon? Apparently uh, there are dramatic slow mo attacks uh, from when they do uh, when you do a lot of damage. That I saw that during the uh, Smash tournament. That was really cool. Cloud. Apparently, they have gauges now near the near the damage uh, number. Uh, this goes true. This holds true for Robin and Villager. They uh, Cloud has his uh, limit gauge. Uh, Robin, not sure what she has. I think it's some type of magic gauge. Villager, uh, you can see which items you pocket now, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're gonna be getting to the other characters real soon. I'm gonna check the chat. Uh, Marzi is happy for Corrin. <laughs> uh, Fire Soul like the other Zelda. Yeah, it's... And then Bowser is now Giga Bowser, which is even bigger than before, so now he looks like freaking baby Bowser from Yoshi's Story. <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. Just punches them off the stage. Uh, Mr. Game & Watch is back. Yay! Actually, I actually use him. Uh, not not uh, not often, but sometimes. Uh, Young Link. So now we have three Links. Uh, we have Toon Link from Wind Waker. Young Link from I'm guessing Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, and now uh, just regular Link from Breath of the Wild. So that's cool. Three different store. Three different. Uh, I think they they accurately resemble uh, resemble. No. I was gonna say they accurately represent the three uh, timelines, but that might not be true. I gotta look into that. Uh, Kirby's back, and Wolf's back. Wolf ha has upgraded moves. They didn't really say how, though. Uh, Kirby... <laughs> more characters means that Kirby can now transform into different <laughs> people. Oh my god, so many... <laughs> I wish I liked Kirby better. That's... I, I, for the life of me, I can, I, only think, I can only think of, like, two people who use him... Uh, use him that often. Shulk's back. Shulk can, uh, improve... Has an improved Monado art... Uh, making switching between them easier. Uh, also, yeah, there. I think they added some characters to his final smash. Ganondorf's back. Ganondorf now resembles Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. Arguably the best one. 
<laughs> Actually, there's only one Ganondorf, but I think that's it's like the best representation of him. It was like before everything kind of went to heck, and then he started coming becoming Calamity Ganon. <laughs> we got the Me Fighters back, so that'll be interesting to see my face on a on a <laughs> on a uh, Smash Brothers fighter. And they talked they talked a little bit about online battles, but not not much. Pit is back. Uh, he's in his new Final Smash is Lightning Chariot. I kind of like the Valkyrie Assault from the last one, but that's just me. Zero Suit Samus. Now with 20% more sex appeal. <laughs> that's kind of it's kind of a cool new Final Smash. And then Olimar's back. Here's one thing uh, new. I think this is a more more of a cosmetic thing. When Olimar takes damage, uh, his uh, his uh, headset his helmet cracks. That's kind of cool. Bayonetta. Now with thirty percent more sex appeal because they gave <laughs> yeah they gave her two different costumes. One for Bayonetta one and Bayonetta two. And yeah, and she gets an assist trophy this time around. And we got Wario back. Wario has a new Final Smash. Uh, yeah. Way more cartoony. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Finally a good Final Smash for Donkey Kong. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just him rapid firing punches. No more of that Congo nonsense. That bongo nonsense. <laughs> and we got Little Mac. Little Mac is now Giga Mac. So much better now. I might actually use Little Mac. Some of these fighters I didn't use because their final smash wasn't that good. I think this was a good cosmetic change for Ness and Lucas. Uh, they have uh, the supporting characters from their games uh, in their final smash. Yep. I like that. It's the little things that matter. Wee Frit Trainer now has a face and eyes. <laughs> Now she doesn't look like... Now it's not... I, I kid you not, my friend, who is not very... Who doesn't play Nintendo games very much, thought that was a mannequin. <laughs> when he played Smash Brothers, he's like, okay, what ga is this like a mannequin game? Or no, it's Wii Fit Trainer. <laughs> uh, let's see, Mega Man. Uh, let's see, we're getting the Mega Man stage back. And Proto Man and Boney. No, not, no that's Proto, <laughs> Proto Man and Bass. Sorry, Bass. Yeah, they're in uh, in uh, Mega Man's Final Smash. Palutena uh, now has a down special counter that afflicts that well counter a down special move that counters and deflects attacks. That's cool. Rob now has a fuel gauge on top of his helmet. No, it's oh no, it's just a fuel gauge. Okay. So yeah, you can tell you can see which ones. Okay, Echo Fighters. This is interesting. Apparently, they're not. Uh, Pit and Dark Pit. Dark Pit is Pit's Echo character. Lucina is Marth's Echo character. And we have a new Echo Fighter coming up in about two seconds. Wait for it. Daisy. Yep. <laughs> Not much. And yeah, I guess it's uh, Peach's Echo character, but they didn't say what exactly was different other than her taunt. Yeah. Not much. I'm not seeing much difference. But we'll have to wait and see. She's adorable, though. I'll give her that. Let's see. Rosalina. Yep. So we had Echo Fighters. I think they're getting to talking about the Inkling character. The Inkling Fighter. Yes, there it is. This one I'm going to be excited to use. And they were using in the Splatoon 2 tournament today. Or not the, the Smash Brothers tournament today. Sorry. <laughs> so apparently the more ink on... On a fighter, the more damage they take from their attacks. So cover them in ink, then just start wailing on them with attacks. But if you wait too long, the inkling, or the ink, uh, the ink dries and they don't take as much damage. And their final smash is the killer whale. I totally called this. <laughs> and apparently, you have to refill the you have to refill ah, refill the ink tank by hitting B, or holding down B. And these are basically Splatoon 1 squids, to be precise. They're not, it doesn't look like anything Splatoon 2 related, but that's okay. I mean, <laughs> it 
And the Squid Sisters are an assist trophy. This one was good. I love this one. So they before, uh, I guess they just kind of, yeah, the screen gets closer and closer to them, but you can't get too close to them themselves or you take damage. That'll be fun. I can't wait for that. We also have assist trophies. This is the part where I got a little sad because uh, Walu uh, it shows Waluigi as an assist trophy. Right there, yep. So he's not a fighter. Oh well. I don't know. I, want to get, I mean, they got Mario, Luigi, Wal Wario, but not Waluigi. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? Bomberman's an assist trophy now. That's, eh. I never was big on Bomberman, but whatever. And we got the, we got all these ones back now. Midna's still an assist trophy. I don't know what this thing is. It looks like bubblegum. Uh, and then we got new Pokemon. Fifth, uh, yeah, new gen Pokemon like Sogaleo and Beware are going to be in the Pokeballs. Uh... Black Hole is a new item that kind of just sucks people up. Launch Star from um, Mario Galaxy. That'll be cool. Ooh, Fake Smash Ball. This one will be fun. You hit the Fake Smash Ball, it explodes. <laughs> stages. What kind of stages we got? Um, I think they're bringing back almost every stage from previous Smash Brothers games, including the original Smash Brothers. I think they had... Uh, what was it, like Celadon City or something? I, I saw that in the tournament today. Uh, to name a couple, Green Hill Zone, New Pork City, Wrecking Crew, Tortimore Island, Great Plateau, Tower, that's all back. Uh, Spirit Tracks is back. <laughs> Not too crazy about Spirit Tracks. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, Green Hill Zone, that one's cool. I'm not too crazy about the stage falling apart in the middle, but whatever. New Pork City, arguably the biggest stage. Wrecking Crew, one of the most fun stages. I think the stage that I'm most excited for, though, that to come back. Um, I hope. I think. I think it was in this one. It was the Animal Crossing one. I always liked that one, just because of the moving platforms in the middle. And then we got Moray Towers as a stage. And the Great Plateau Tower from Breath of the Wild. That's a stage. <laughs> they got the old man in the background. That cracks me up. Okay, let's see. Apparently, uh, Sukupon wasn't a planned assist trophy for Melee, though. Thought that was... Yeah, it is an interesting fact. Yeah, I guess uh, certain characters they didn't put into Melee that they should have. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, Smash Brothers game is looking pretty good. Uh, they talked about the new techniques next. Uh, ladder attacks. Uh, directional air dodging. That one I, I was kind of hoping for. Makes it much easier to dodge. Yep, you can just dodge right out of the way instead of dodging and then falling into a, like, a way worse situation. I think one time my friend dodged uh, out of the way and accidentally fell off the stage. He didn't grab. He was too far away to grab on to the edge. And then, but here's the thing: there's a penalty now for dodging too much. Uh, you actually get like a hair slower uh, when you dodge like six times. So be careful of that. A B smash. You can now use instead of like like tapping the A button, you can actually just hit A and B together, and that performs a smash. The perfect dodge. I saw. I think I saw Zero who was trying to. Trying to perform this. Uh, trying to perform a perfect dodge to parry attacks. Uh, he didn't work out very well, but we'll see what happens when the when the game comes out. It looks really good, man. I mean, it looks. I thought for a second it was the same. It was the the Wii U version, but. I mean, I'm hoping that they get they have the 60 frames per second thing down with this game. I think the last Smash Brothers was only 30 frames, but who knows? And then I th and then they get to the end. Right now, this is where they reveal. Oh no, this is where they reveal uh, <laughs> GameCube controllers are going to be compatible. Uh, that's cool. That's a cool feature. 
mainly because I think most serious gamers use uh, GameCube. I'm going to be using the Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch just because it fits better in my hand. And Amiibos! Yay! Finally some Amiibo news. All the old Amiibos are going to be compatible. And... You can actually, uh, yeah, you can use uh, different variations for Smash Brothers. And you can actually transfer the friend points over. So if you have a level 50 Amiibo in Smash Wii U, you can just take this, uh, f the Amiibo over to this game and it'll still be level 50. Cool. I might reset mine, ju though, just so I can get the free stuff, you know. Like, if every time you use a Mii fighter, Amiibo Fighter, uh, you get free stuff. I'll probably do that. Alright, we're getting to the end right now. This was the big reveal of a new fighter. We already know who that was, but the trailer looked really cool. I just had to... Yeah. <laughs> And for a second, I was looking at this like, this reminds me of The Fall, but I know, I know they're, not taking a, they're not taking that game. You see Samus, you see Mario, you see Mega Man right there. And at this moment right here, I knew who it was. I'm like, okay, I saw, yeah. <laughs> so did he like straight up kill Mario and Mega Man there? <laughs> I mean, he would, but um, did he... <laughs> And, like, Samus is like, uh, this guy. <laughs> and then Ridley crushes Cappy. <laughs> Just shreds him. <laughs> Ridley is now a playable, f is now a fighter. Hits the big time. Great. <laughs> So yeah, Ridley is now a fighter in Smash Brothers. Uh, they were using him in the tournament. Looked really cool. His final smash looked awesome. You're going to see that in a second. He's got a cool dive bomb attack. <laughs> I want to see what Kirby looks like when he sucks him up. <laughs> yeah, there's the final smash right there. Oh my god. Awesome. <laughs> And that was it. That was the whole presentation. And then later on, we got uh, information about... Oh, wait. Here we got the release date. They finally gave us a release date. The release date for Smash Brothers Ultimate will be... Right... Ba -ba 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 now. Now. December 7th, 2018. Yes. So, that is happening. And that was the end of that was the end of the whole the whole thing. So it looks really good. I mean, I'm impressed. Nintendo. I mean, they. I'm sure they had more surprises in store, but the, those little leaks like Fortnite and Paladins and all the other whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure For, Fortnite alone was probably one of the biggest uh, surprises, uh, followed by the oh wait, the Octo expansion. Yeah, that's coming out tomorrow. I'm gonna be streaming that as soon as it comes out. So that might that might, so that live stream might happen anywhere from 6 p.m. tomorrow to 9 p.m. I might wait till midnight. We'll see how I feel. To, but that'll be the live stream for that night. Uh, tonight I've decided we're gonna do uh, Fortnite. I'm just gonna. So yeah, we'll do Fortnite. That'll be cool. Uh, I wish yeah they would have talked more about the Smash Brothers story mode. They didn't say what they're gonna be doing for the single player stuff, but. I'm assuming whatever they have in store will be fine. I'm, no, no one plays it that much for the single player mode. Great E3 though. And I'm so excited. The next two days are going to be awesome. We're going to be seeing Treehouse stuff. I think that stuff kicks off at 9 p.m. 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time tomorrow. It might be sooner. I'll have to look into that. But uh, let me th uh, let's see what you guys think. Uh, we're going to be cut. Get, I'm going to be getting things ready for the next uh, live stream at midnight. See, apparently Temple is still available. Um, Fire Soul wants a Camp Triggerfish stage in Smash, don't we all? Uh, and Ridley, yeah, Nathan's excited about Ridley. And there will be a Ridley amiibo. There, they uh, talked about that. There's going to be uh, two special amiibos coming out for Smash Brothers Switch. I mean, Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, Ridley and Inkling. I'm assuming you can use one of the old Inkling Amiibos uh, from Splatoon and Splatoon 2. Uh, 
But uh, the Ridley Amiibo, that's going to be fun. That's going to look really cool. I think the the Ridley they have in uh, Smash Brothers looks really dried out. <laughs> it's just a weird thing. And then again, he has died like ten times, so one can only look so good after, <laughs> after all that. Uh, Nub wants to play Fortnite. I'm we I'm with you, so we'll be live streaming Fortnite tonight. Uh, we'll probably do Paladins another night. I'm not seeing too many people into that. I mean, it'd be fun. Uh, what else we got? Fire Soul like Donkey Kong drums though. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I actually like using Don. I wanted to use Donkey Kong more, but um, I. His final smash always got to me. I felt like he needed more of a final smash that was actually a smash. You know, not 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 him playing the drums. Uh, let's see. Uh, Swyatt, some weird idiot on the internet, likes that they removed the stamina from the Pokemon trainer. I like that too. I always felt like that controlled how I used him. Uh, now it's more now it's more free form. I think it uh, Pokemon trainer might be a, ser a serious character now. And, uh, yeah, looks like you guys are excited for Fortnite, so. So, I'm gonna wrap things up for tonight. I believe we talked about everything. Uh, tomorrow night will be the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion live stream. That's gonna be so sweet! Ah, I can't wait. That was the biggest reveal to me, the, 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 that it's coming out tomorrow. We all thought it was gonna be, like, July 31st, July 13th. Some people were saying at the end of the June. Some people were saying August. And now we're finding out, oh, it's tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, that's all. I mean, there's probably there's probably going to be more information tomorrow. But that's all we have for tonight. Um, going to wrap things up here. Get ready for Fortnite live stream. That's going to happen at midnight. Come back in an hour and ten minutes for that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other comments, uh, anything I might have missed, uh, let me know in the comment section or the uh, chat to the right. Um, and uh, we'll see you back here in an hour and ten minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays the Game. Stay tuned. Got more. Li got another live stream coming up in an hour. Till then, this is Tim from Tim Plays the Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.